Tonight, me and Tammy are gonna be trying a new Screaming Sicilian Pizza Company pizza. Uh, we do not get these in our area. We bought this at Jungle Gems. It's up near Cincinnati. They were $7.49 a piece, so the, the how much they cost. These are made with beer. It's basically the crust is made with beer. They're called Zabruski. And this one is the pepperoni pizza version of the, 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 the Zabruski. Um, it's beer flavored crust with other flavors. Uh, beer flavored cheese sauce. Ooh, I didn't see that. There's our oven. Um, whole milk mozzarella cheese and pepperoni. Um, so what you do is, oh, do you want, I'll go tell you the calories. It's 420 calories for a fourth of the pizza, which isn't too bad. I love the back, how they've got the beer bottles, little mustaches on them. I think that's really cool. And that's a skinnier mustache than they normally give you. It is a skinnier mustache. Okay, so, um, sorry, I was, do not thaw pizza. Uh, pre to 425, uh, remove all the packaging, place the pizza on the center rack and bake for 19 to 21 minutes. We'll probably look, we'll probably put it for 20 and take a look at it and see how brown it is. But we like ours pretty, uh, we like our cheese pretty um, toasty. So. so there's what it looks like. I'll probably rearrange some of this uh, pepperoni on there a little bit, but that's what it looks like. And you can see the cheese sauce underneath there. See the darker yellow cheese? So, uh, so anyway, I'm going to get this in the oven and I'll show you what it looks like when it comes out. All right, here it is out of the oven and uh, it looks really, really good. I noticed the crust is like raised up on the edges a little bit and it's sunk in in the middle. So I guess it keeps the cheese sauce in. I don't know. But I did have to redistribute the pepperoni a little bit, but not too awfully bad. Here we go. You can see how... You know how thick those edges are. But it's got good and crispy. This was, uh, we only put it in there for 19 minutes and it came out this good, so. So the, you could really smell uh, the beer. You it was could, strong. It was a very different smell from the traditional uh, Screaming Sicilian because we just recently had one. So we can tell you that uh, it, you could smell the beer. I looked in the ingredient list just to see if they told what brand they were using to see um, what it was, but they didn't list it. So I guess they, I guess they would have had to have teamed up with somebody and put it on the front and given them credit yeah, if they told you. Um, but it does have. I think they would have at least. It has mozzarella cheese, but it also has provolone cheese, Parmesan cheese, and Romano cheese. Oh, um, oh I see yeah. that at the bottom. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I noticed I noticed that you didn't mention those, but you didn't see it. I so didn't see that. It's in the the biggest one. It says mozzarella, but Kevin didn't see the other ones listed there. So. And I don't, this doesn't have a tomato sauce on it. Oh, no, it's just, it's just uh, cheese sauce. It's just cheese sauce. Because I was just now looking at it, it's like, hey, I don't see any tomato sauce on this. <laughs> Crust is good, thick. They're good and crispy. Mmm, that's good. It tastes completely different. Without the red sauce? J no, it's just the, the beer The beer flavor. sauce? Yeah. With the beer flavoring, like the only trick about it is the crust. The beer flavoring is in the crust, but it's in with the cheese as well. So the way it's written around here, you know, we eat a lot of beer cheese, so beer cheese is really popular. So if you don't read it carefully, it looks like oh, we put beer cheese in there. They didn't put beer cheese in there. They put beer in the cheese and then put the cheese, in. beer in the cheese sauce. So which is kind of like a beer cheese. That's good. Um, I took a bite of just the back side mm -hmm. of the crust. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It did crisp up really quickly though. So mm -hmm. just know, don't leave it in there too long because I think it would just absolutely burn your crust to death. You know what's different about this for me? We buy a lot of the Bessie's Revenge, mm -hmm. which is just all cheese. What's different for me on here, not only is, the, is it the very sharp flavor of the beer but the texture is different mm -hmm. that, um, that texture in the center and it's not because of the pepperoni it's the the texture of all of that cheese with that crust it's very pleasing mm -hmm. it's it's very, hot too. it's very uh, pleasurable to chew that and eat that because um there's just a lot of, of crispiness in there and and the flavor of that cheese i think it's delicious and the cheese sauce is Somewhat runny, kind of like a tomato sauce would be. It's 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 all more of a liquid than a cheese is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you still get that that moisture from the cheese sauce, 
The crust is really good. I too, wish though I like that crust. That crust, the crust is, is very good. It's very different from any of their other pizzas. Yeah, and it's kind of between a crispy and a, and a like a thick crust. It's, it's or like kind a of pan even. It's yeah, like it's, it's, I wish they would use that crust on all their pizzas. Yeah, I it's love very, very good. that. It is. And you don't taste beer, but it does have a different flavor. Yes, it's it's yes, it's just the texture of it itself is is wonderful. Um, unfortunately, mm, like Kevin said. We do not get these here yet. Yeah, uh, we we might had get down here sooner or later. We had to travel an hour and 45 minutes through heavy traffic to uh, get the, uh, th these. We bought four of them. So this is the first of the four. This one sounded like they didn't have just cheese. No. So the, Which the, would have been good. The plainest of the four was the pepperoni. And then they have like a Philly <clears throat> cheesesteak or something like that. But yeah, anyway, we're going to be trying all four of them. I cannot wait. Um, Excellent pieces. They need to come to our area though. Yeah. They need, we desperately need these because I think them, that is very if good. If you see them and you're worried about it having a really funky beer flavor or anything, I don't really like the flavor of beer. Kevin doesn't even, yeah, you know, he doesn't even like beer. It's too strong. Mm -hmm. um, this is nice. It, it does taste a little bit like that kind of hoppy flavor, but it's not like overpowering. It's not super strong. It just really goes well with the, with the crust and the cheese. It all blends part. I mean, you taste it. You know it's there. You, you know, know it's there's definitely a, di different. a difference. Uh, but I don't think it would bother you. I no, think it's you very well like it. Yeah. Um, so the scrimmage is doing a good job. Yeah, they did a very, very good job. And yes, this is how we divide it up. We buy one pizza. Kevin gets three pieces. I get three pieces. And this is how we eat it. So we absolutely love. This is our favorite brand of frozen pizza. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, I would rather buy Screaming Sicilian than I would uh, go to pizza places. Yeah, there's a lot of pizza places we went to lately and we're disappointed. And we toured the factory. Uh, we toured the Screaming Sicilian mm -hmm. factory. And it is so clean that I feel so good about eating it. I know I've seen the pains that they take to keep their factory clean. And so, yeah, I can eat this with all confidence that it's coming from a very, very clean environment. So if you see these around, I definitely give it a try. 100%. Yeah. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.